Hi everyone, welcome to Aircon Lounge. I'm Yu. Today we are going to talk about damper. In HVAC, damper is a very important component that helps a lot of different functions. So whenever we're dealing with ductwork, ducting, then damper will come into the picture. So generally we have three types of damper. The first type is fire damper. The purpose of fire damper is to prevent fire and smoke from spreading from one compartment to the other compartment. So fire damper is needed whenever we have a duct penetration. That means your ducting will run through a wall. So at the wall section there, you need to install a fire damper. So this is applied to those fire compartment uh, room, right? So if your building or there's a project, there is no fire compartment. Usually this, we are talking about the wall made of uh, just a simple maybe a dry board, just a partition wall. So that usually don't require any uh, fire damper. If we are talking about brick wall or concrete wall, usually we need fire damper. So fire damper also have two types. So one is by default, we use the fusible link. The acronym usually when you see at a drawing, they will write FD, right? FD stands for fire damper. So fusible link, that is a link that made of a special material. So that material will melt and break at a certain temperature. So if in case there's a fire, so the temperature is rising, keep rising until a point where the fusible link break, then the damper will close by itself by a spring force. The other type is MFD. M is motorized. So motorized fire damper. So as the name suggests, the fire damper will be driven by a motor. So the motor, we call it actuator. So we supply power to energize the motor. So the motor will open the fire damper. In case of fire, right? So the power supply to the motor will stop. Then the damper will close because there is no power to support it open. Usually this one, we call it spring return because the actuator in itself, when you want to open, it use power to open. But when there's no power, right, it will snap close due to the spring mechanism inside there. So usually this spring mechanism is, uh, we need to be able to fully close the fire damper within 15 seconds. So we call it spring return uh, fire damper. So this is the two main type of uh, fire damper. On top of MFD, you may see some is called MFSD, motorized fire and smoke damper. So as the name suggests, it also prevents smoke from uh, penetrating through, spreading through, right? The difference is the leakage rate. That means the fire damper leakage rate is very low. So the first type is fire damper. We have fusible link, we have motorized, and also we have motorized fire and smoke. The second type is volume control damper. As the name suggests, it controls volume. So this type of damper we may install in the duct branches, right? Your air conditioner, maybe it's ASU or FCU. Then you have a ducting, then you have a lot of branches, right? So at certain branches, we want to install a volume control damper. So this volume control damper, uh, usually by default is a manual, uh, manually controlled. That means when uh, we all finish the job during commissioning stage, right? So we turn on the air conditioner, then we balance the branch airflow using this volume control damper. So we need to tune the blade, then we measure the airflow, make sure it is as per the design. So another way to control airflow is actually built into the supply air diffuser itself. So for each supply air diffuser, for example, the four-way directional diffuser, we have built-in uh, damper to control airflow. So those damper usually come with the supply air diffuser itself. So some of the name, they call it the radial damper. Then we have a crown one, crown damper. We have the OBD, it's very famous, uh, opposed blade damper, OBD. So this individual diffuser damper is good for controlling a small airflow, like 200, 300, right? At the room there, you control that. Big airflow at the branch there, we need to use volume control damper to tune down first before you go to this individual one. 
if you don't have this volume control damper to, to tune down the big airflow, just by relying on a small airflow, you will have problem with the noise. Because when you close a lot, right, the velocity will be very high, then you have this hissing sound, hissing noise at the diffuser. So this is uh, a problem with the large system, large airflow. All right. So um, some system also they use motorized volume control damper, or they call it modulating, you know, uh, modulating volume control damper. That means it, it depends on certain uh, signal, then the volume control damper will move itself. Uh, those is another type. So the second type will be something to do with control volume. Okay, the second type of damper. The third type of damper is known as the non-return damper, or some people call it the backdraft damper. Non-return damper, NRD. So as the name suggests, non-return. That means we want the airflow to flow in one direction. So we want to prevent it to, uh, from flowing backward. So non-return damper is needed, right? Uh, a very typical example is when you have two fan and both fan is connected to one duct, right? So these two fan is served as like duty standby or, or like a, a sequential shift. So when you want run fan number one, the fan number two won't run. Then you, you after 12 hours, you switch over to this fan, then this fan will rest. This kind of system, both fan you need uh, an RD, right? Because why? When you run one fan, it will blow through both sides, right? To the main duct and also no reverse direction back to the fan number two and then you will spin the fan number two in opposite direction one thing is you will damage the fan the other thing is the airflow will will gone wasted lah. so you want to have an nrd so that the airflow will block right automatically block right so the all the air will go through the the correct direction to go to the main duct so how nrd work is it has some weight right depend on how much airflow you needed and how much pressure your fan has when the fan blows the airflow because there's a, the weight is a lighter so it will open right so when the airflow is blow in the different direction due to gravity and the weight the damper will drop down will close so it will prevent the airflow from flowing backward all right so these are the three types of uh, damper in HVAC right the first one is fire damper for fire protection smoke protection purposes the second one is volume control damper volume control damper is to control volume we have motorized or we can have uh, the individual one at the diffuser one this also consider volume control damper and also the number three is a non-return damper so non-return damper is uh, for special case where you want one-way airflow direction all right so that is the three types of damper in HVAC thanks for watching if you have any question related to damper, you can comment down below and I'll try to answer as much as possible, right? So I'll see you in the next video.